today I'm going to explain uh, just a bit briefing about this potato machine. So this is the potato machine that we use for planting potatoes. So in this uh, like second uh, andraboning is to where they put extra tray of potatoes. For, for down here is to put the potato that you used to plant. So a person who, who plant potatoes must be sit here. So this is uh, two seats. So there is my uh, little potato planter. <laughs> and then when you start to plant potatoes, you have to put this thing down. Okay, put them down and then you have to put potatoes in each hole like that for five holes. So when the potato is starting to roll and then this um, thing here is moving, so then this uh, circle also is moving slowly and then every time the, this hole uh, goes here then the potato drops so then you have to fill all the empty holes. Then the potato will drop here. Can you drop it over here? Then it drops there and then this plow and on the other side plow uh, it will cover the potatoes. So that's it. It's very simple. How old is this machine? About 50 years. 50 About years old? Yes. My god it's older than me. But it's working good. It's very simple. Maybe in Sweden we have 100,000 of them. Of this kind of machine? Yeah, and when they came, everybody felt, oh, this is going to make the work very easy. Yeah. And you don't have to dig them down anymore. Oh. So, and what's the purpose of this wheel, Baba Beer? Which wheel? This, this wheel. wheels, yeah. What's this the purpose of that wheels? Is to get the... So it's not going down too deep. Uh huh. So that one is for the adjustment. Yes, it's for the adjustment for the plow. Okay. So I only put it like that, maybe. Then this will be fine. You don't put them down. So this thing, this thing also you can adjust. Yes, you can adjust the deep for it. And the chair, you cannot adjust it. The chair, no. No, it's we sit there. Just it is. Yeah. Okay. Very clever. Who invented this machine? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's even if it's Swedish. You don't know. No. So so there is a plow also in the, that side where the potato is dropping. Yeah, huh? the, this plow is going to make it so. So the there potato is will to, 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 to put the, the potatoes. Potato All right. So, Alex, are you ready to plant? Mm. You sure? Okay. So that's all, guys. This is the machine that we use for planting potatoes. Mm. It makes life mm. easier. Pa kung sa Pilipinas siguro to hindi na mahirapan na.
<laughs> Maybe this machine is more than 60. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I should have done that. Yes! 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 Yes!
Hur känns det? Hur är det att sätta potatis? Går det bra? Va? Det är roligt. Det är roligt att sätta på potatis. Ja, jag ser det. Ja, då kör vi då. Rullar den inte? Nej, den rullar inte. Det går inte så djupt. Det går inte så djupt. Den rullar inte. Nej, det är den mot. Det är små potater på marken. Och vad ska jag göra då då? Jag har ingen aning. Är det blir det bättre då? Jag vet inte ens. Vi provar. Just det. Let's see what's happening. Nej, men jag kan inte... Ja, men det är... Ja, det kommer inte ut några. Nej, nej, det rullar inte. Det nej, det rullar inte. Alltså, hela den här grejen är för långt ner. Ja, ja vi, vi provar att lyfta lite då. Men vad fan ska det vara så svårt att få dit några här potatisar ner i backen? Det är jättemycket mycket jord här. Ja, det är jättemycket jord där. Men vad fan, det kanske är för att det är för mycket nu där. Det kanske bara har blivit för mycket från början liksom.
So, hello. Magsashare lang ako ng konting kalaman regarding with these potatoes. Alam nyo ba na dito, dito sa Sweden, yung pinaka main food nila or yung pinaka rice nila ay patatas. Yes! ba So, may trivia ako sa inyo. Alam nyo ba na sa patatas eh pwede kang gumawa ng vodka. <laughs> vodka, yes! As in vodka. Wine. Pwede kang magkagawa ng wine from potato. So, yung process daw, sabi, ni, sabi nila is, hugasan maigi yung potato, tapos i-chop mo siya ng maliliit, or, yan, maninipis, tapos hugasan ulit, tapos mix mo siya with sugar, yeast, and water. So, nilagay mo siya sa bottle, na meron sa nung bottle na paglalagyan yan eh, yung medyo malaking bottle. Tapos, yung pakip nun, meron siyang parang small pipe na dito, lalabas yung, yung air galing sa loob. Parang nag-blub-blub-blub yan siya, dito lalabas. Pero, take note, hindi na pwedeng makapasok yung air sa loob ng bottle, kundi masisira na yung pagka-ferment ng wine mo. So, parang i-ferment nila yan ng, ng 3 to 4 weeks. So, about 1 month. So, after that, isi-steam na daw nila yun. Okay? Steam para magiging vodka na siya. Okay? To make a perfect vodka daw sa, from potatoes is dapat 15% of alcohol na meron doon. Oh my God. Kakaiba pala itong potato. Kahit ako ngayon ko lang nalaman yan na pwede palang gawing vodka. Mag pwede palang makagawa ng vodka from potato. So, maliban sa sikat na sikat na potato chips, eh, pwede palang gawa ng vodka. Oh my gosh. So, pero, from 1930s daw, gumawa na yung gobyerno ng regulation na pinagbabawa na silang magluto ng sarili nilang vodka. So, ngayon, nakakabili ka na lang ng wine dito sa Sweden through System Bologit. Yun ang tindahan na nagtitinda ng wine. Lahat ng klase ng wine. But before you can buy a wine in the in that uh, tindahan, System Bologit, is dapat legal age ka. At kung mukha ka pa rin, kahit na 25 years old ka, mukha kang bata, naku, pag pumunta ka dun, you have to show your ID to make sure na legal age ka nga. Bago ka nila uh, pagbebentahan ng vodka or wine, any kind of wine. Hindi katulad sa atin sa Pilipinas na kahit saan, pwede kang makabili ng wine at kahit bata pwede mo utusan para bumili ng wine di ba?